on News Radio 1040 WHO. Stacy Handler is with us. Stacy is the author of a book called The Body Burden, Living in the Shadow of Barbie. And Stacy's grandmother created the Barbie doll. Uh, her grandma and grandpa founded Mattel. You may have heard the name Ruth Handler before in some of the trivia questions. And Stacy's dad was Ken, uh, actually a person named Ken. And Stacy, of course, you've heard of the Stacy doll, Barbie's little sister. It's out there in the stores. And Stacy has written just an unbelievable story of her life up to this point. Uh, the ups and downs and some of the very sad things that go along with having to live in the shadow of Barbie. Stacy, thank you for being with us today. Thank you so much, Steve. I'm glad to be here. I had really mixed emotions reading the book because it was exciting to see the kind of life that you had and the nice opportunities, uh, you know, because of your grandparents right. that you had. And then to see all the things that you had to go through and the struggles that you had. Uh, you started out as a child uh, having diabetes, and uh, you st are you still doing the injections? And oh, yeah, yeah, you have to. <laughs> Gosh. You know, otherwise you die. <laughs> You've had that since age three? Since age three, yes, and that was a big burden to carry. Um, you know, I had a lot of issues when I was younger. Uh, lose some weight, and I'll buy you the store. That was sure. what I heard when I was 13 years old from my grandmother. Say that again. She said what? Lose some weight, and I'll buy you the store. Wow. So she yeah. was trying to motivate you trying to and I think that you know uh, parents mean well grandparents mean well but I think what it really does is it has a negative effect on people hmm. and even though this is personally my story on one hand this is also 90 percent of like you know women's stories out there right so the book has uh, essays about my life but it also has uh, poetry that uh, pertains to most women out there so most women can relate now when you talk about your grandma are you trying to say then that you think that that she created the Barbie doll as a perfect figure and that she wished you and her other grandchildren were perfect figures like that? No, I don't think that's what she wished. I think she saw a need and she filled it. She saw that Barbie was what society wanted and needed. And uh, since society has made, you know, uh, this, this perfect figure, you know, the, the, the icon that women look up to, I think she was right. She gave society what they wanted. I don't think she had any idea how it would take off. No, I think that uh, she was always very concerned about me and my diabetes, but when you're 13 years old and you're hearing stuff like lose weight, right. you know, you get mixed messages. That's right. You, you know what I'm saying? It's difficult for a child to sometimes be able to know the difference between caring and mm -hmm. nagging. Uh, she'd also do things like she would make you not have syrup because she thought you couldn't have syrup. Right. And yet she'd give you orange juice. Exactly. And, and they, makes, do, they do the same thing to your body. Right. It makes no sense. I mean, orange juice, in fact, uh, it, it really is, has a bad effect on me or on any diabetic. Um, if you drink too much of it, or um, it's, it's not good. So I was trying to explain it to her. And one of the things I talk about in the book is about the hidden voice, which is the way that we need to express ourselves. And sometimes that's squelched. And I felt that in my case, I wanted to explain to her about the disease. And she never really listened to me or gave me the opportunity hmm. to really explain it. Why? Uh, because she didn't. I mean, a lot of people don't. A lot of people put their opinions on others and don't let them have their say, especially yeah. children. Oh, well, yeah. And then what ends up happening is we end up turning to food or lack of food or whatever vice we might have to, uh, you know, to get our voice out to, to express ourselves. Stacy did not play with dolls, even though her grandma created Barbie and Ken. Even when you were not so tactful, I believe you wanted to help me. You had your own vision of beauty, your own skinny reality. You always told me I could lose more weight, and now that I've been as thin as I could be, I've had to face my own reality, that thin may just not be me. So is this book, in a way, your voice to your grandma saying, Look, Grandma, this is what I've been trying to tell you all along. Um, I've worked stuff out with her. This is not just about my grandmother. This mm -hmm. is uh, also I was in a verbally abusive marriage. Mm. And uh, back in 94, I was around 23 at the time. And I would say that the marriage really got uh, me having a negative body I see. Uh, image problem. I've worked stuff out with my grandmother because I've been able to talk to her. And that is my hope for other women uh, across That's the country. That's wonderful. Stacy. are there people out there... It's just not them to be thin? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, I mean, I don't think that being thin is for everybody. And it's not perfect. You know, and there is no, I mean, perfection is just, you know, it's something we created. 
<laughs> you know, I mean, what is perfection? So you I call, mean, in the book, you call Barbie your flawless sister. Yeah, sort of like a flawless uh, sibling that I really could, do, you know, not do much about. You know, I couldn't knock on her door and, right. you know, confront her. So you're saying you think it's bad to have Barbie dolls? I'm not saying I think it's bad to have Barbie dolls. I think it's bad when, when you know, nothing wrong with having an imagination and with having dreams. We can want to be thin. We can we can play with as many dolls as we want. It, it, it's when it begins to hurt us personally right. that it's a problem. Now, every woman is different. I, I cannot stress that enough. Every person is different. And my book, The Body Burden, is for women of all shapes and mm-hmm. sizes with all different experiences in, in their lives. And you did not of, play with dolls. No, I didn't. I was always into music. If it didn't have music, you, you I You could have had any doll you wanted. <laughs> Maybe yeah, that's I why. Know. But, you know, I really didn't need the doll. Because, that's right. Because on a subliminal level, she was always there. Yeah. You see, uh, we all have our imperfections. Everyone does. And most women deal with the body image issue. You know, it's sort of like, well, I'm going to put my life off until I lose 10 more pounds mm-hmm. or, you know... Uh, I got to lose weight for my boyfriend. It's got to be whatever we do. It's got to be for us. Now let me talk about your dad for a minute. Your dad, Ken. The Ken doll is named after your dad, right? But he w- apparently from the book sounds like he, w- he had no problem at all with full figured women. He was no. very supportive. Yeah, my mother's uh, full figured. And uh, he, he loves her. He loved her just as much. It didn't make any difference. So what was that like for you to have a grandma who was trying to get you to be thin and a dad who was totally okay with you the way you were? <laughs> um, it was confusing, but, you know, I always listened to my parents. You know, they always encouraged me to be who I am and to communicate, mm-hmm. you know, which is what I feel more parents should do, you know, with their, with their children. Um, but my grandmother, I really, I mean, do believe that she, she's always loved me, and I think... Um, she saw that when it started to really become a problem after my marriage, when I, when I started to have an eating disorder of my own, she got really scared and she said to me, Stacy, I love you just the way you are. You're mm. fine the way you are. Oh. Because I don't really think that our loved ones have in mind, you know, that we're going to hurt ourselves. Right, right. But we do hurt ourselves be, in quest of that, you know, right. unattainable perfection. Finally, Stacy, what do you tell girls today? What's the message you're trying to get across? Um... If you can't love yourself unconditionally, being thin will not lighten your load. Lighten yourself by loving yourself. Self-acceptance is the key that will truly unlock who you are. So don't start with the outside. Start with the inside. Right. And I I want to say, any woman or or young girl who who has any issues at all about their body, this book is for them because there's stuff in here for everybody. It is not just my personal story. It is every woman's story. Stacy Handler, the granddaughter of the woman who created Barbie and Ken. Thanks for being with us, Stacy. Thanks so much, Steve. I love talking with Thanks. you. Thanks.